Okay, YouTubers, we're working on a BMW uh, Waddle Series. We're updating the firmware now on the um, icon. We'll click firmware update. We just update the system, so we go here. We're gonna minimize the screen here. We're gonna close no application. We're just putting in the system, so we choose application. And then we're gonna choose this one here that says application right here. Choose that, and then we we'll click send file. And then we wait. We're gonna program here the uh, seat. They work now, but they are not actually calibrated. And then the LCD roof function center, this thing right here needs to be um, encoded. The coding file is not there. And this GWS switch right here, this somebody installed this, but there's um, there's no coding file in this GWS switch. As you can see, new beamer, blah, blah, blah. All right, the lights will turn red like this when you're updating the icon firmware, all right? That's what they're gonna look like. Boom. So now it's BMW X6 here. Uh, we're gonna write the flash now to the uh, icon. Ah, boy. X6 here. Bloom, bloom, bloom. can see there the icon lights are risky red so okay the image file the image file is written already both of them and the application file we'll click reboot here reboot the icon so all right the icon is rebooted here goes the light now turn from red to green all right so We film that. We have one a red light and green light, so we wait. It should turn to green. Everything goes okay, it should turn to green. This appears to be an ICOM next shell, and uh, what is an ICOM A2? So. We wait first. Here's it now. So snow in green. All right, boom. So we're gonna click on that. Read our vehicle data. Snow free. All right. This simply means right here telling you to put plug the LAN cable it on instead of Wi-Fi. So we um, we wait. We pause video. Calculated measure of plan. Okay, the GWS switch is wrong. Wrong order variance. All right, boom.
Okay, the SSCD program. Boom. Writing to the seat module. That one that says on address 6D SM2. Alright, this one is finished. Alright, okay. We do this one too here. Address 6C in the right click since the file is already red, it's already determined, so we just execute that. Mm -hmm. This is a seat work, it's just a suit. What a fucking loading file doesn't work. Oh. Just come here, just come here. Alright, this is finished. This is seat module 2. Control, control C copy and control uh, C module. And then we uh, go here. And then we close this. Alright, there's this one here. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, cool. Lock that out. So click read ECU should come back black. There they are. Alright, so we did see module. Alright, let's just scroll down and look if any other modules to be done. Alright, the ZBE controller here just a bootloader update. The bootloader on the ZBE controller, the iDrive controller is working so. This one is okay. <coughs> that is some kind of a rear. Amplifier module, something like that. I don't remember. It just GWA switches wrong out of variant. This coding file is in it, but it doesn't read out coming from a different car, different out of by the way. So we're going to um We're gonna try to code um this failed. This one failed. I don't know why it failed. Maybe I need to write this bootloader over it. I'm gonna try. I don't know. Fuck with it because there are too much fun in this SDD bullshit. You know what? I'm leaving that shit alone. I'm leaving it alone because I didn't get paid to do this one here. And um, bootloader, isn't it? But there's no save. This one. There's two of them. D one D one D nine two and one D nine three must be into it. And so on. I mean. I don't know, let me go create a... Uh, let's see. Alright, it says right here for the SDT. SDT IST does not match expected control unit description model IDs and it failed. Alright, I know. Okay, YouTubers, uh, this is the seat model here. Recording file is now in it. There it goes. And this one, both of them. The SCD failed to program the coding file as if it is saying that the SVT IST does not match expected control unit description model IDs, but I don't give a shit. SCD is called ICAM, blah blah blah. And then this GWS also is wrong out of and so on. We're gonna go in service function and initialize the seat. Go into body. Uh. Oh no. 
Oh, here goes seat right here. We're gonna standardize seat. Driver, then we're gonna do passenger. Let us look at see if it's moving. Let's take the eye come out the way. Let's see if it's moving alright. It's not moving. Let's take the eye come out the way. It's Lombard going back. Seat standardization, we call this road procedure. Should go back now. All right, it should be finished here. Current duration, 70 seconds, please wait. This message is automatically terminated after the end of the seat standardization, latest after 120 seconds. wonder what other stuff is going to do. Okay, it's, yeah, it's finished now. It's, running, it's reading out the evaluation, it's done properly. Okay, it was done properly, so there it goes, successful. We're going to run this for the passenger. Right here, that ABL, ABL means procedure. So we wait, we're drawing standardization for this one. All right, we send a command and we go over this side and take a look. There it goes, moving this big head. That process has been finished. Those five blah blah blah. Alright, it's read not the evaluated status is being evaluated. Alright, it's done successfully. Seat done. Alright, we're gonna go now to travel codes. So I have four to five codes in the car. Alright, it will be now only for oh that's air compartment for line disconnection. Really? Oh yeah. You said that one is still existing. Here we are. said missing lane slave here. Operating facility in the center console. Self leveling suppression. Really? These guys fill up this car and then didn't put it back put back shit properly? Says no coding data, but that is an illusion, so you know we're gonna overlook that part. Unexpected communication termination, blah blah blah. No, they showed no, uh oh sorry. Could be for um 
Alright, so we're gonna delete the fall codes and uh, delete them right now. Alright, let's turn off. It's in residing mode. So I'll for do all of that part. Should be on now. Okay, boom, there it goes. It says right here, message, customer service, passenger reference system is limited. Really? Like what? Save the belt, blah blah blah. All right, as you can see there, the seat models are basically all coded, no faults in them. All right, boom. It's only the FZD must be programmed and encoded, but this one here, and then GWS is wrong hardware variant and so on. All right, and then advanced cross safety model. It has a fault code in it. Let's just click on display fault memory to see what this fault code in the airbag is. Seems it's something for seat belt. This right here control model not encoded, this is referring to the FZD and so on. It's talking about an air, a air fault or a line disconnection, yes. Ah, I'm coming here. Uh, Dave, are you the one who replaced the FZD? No. Okay, someone is doing it? Yeah. They replaced all the seats also? Yes. Okay, we have roughly uh, six false codes remaining out of a total of 45. This is right here, the aerial fault. There's a line disconnection in the aerial fault. Okay. Aerial. Passenger confirming. Aerial is really maybe the key pick of that, you know? Right. Signal in terms right. of maybe it's an internal one. Mm -hmm. So the airbag right now? No? Oh no. It will it still it still have something there right here for the airbag. Um what is it airbag? Because it before the module name. Yeah, it said front passenger seat occupancy detection replacement part. Incorrect data. Incorrect that's, data. Yeah, that's the code that we're trying to code to get that, that code off. That's how we try to code the seats. That's how we try to code it. No, the um, the mat, the occupancy mat sensor, mm -hmm. you check when passengers sit down in it or not, right? Yeah. That sensor can go bad, but this car is fairly new. Right. How, how, how do they get the car? The car been through an accident, a flood, crash? Uh, it wasn't flood. It wasn't flood. What happened? It is an action car that was stripped, and they, they bought the parts and put in this car. All right, they, they leave out something. Car right here is telling you incorrect data. Right. Incorrect, da incorrect code data for the, uh, they probably take one out of a, uh, um, even the GWS, the gear selector switch is wrong hardware variant. But the car drive here, right? Yeah, go here. Alright. The SZD, it failed to take the coding file in it. That one, it failed to take the coding file when I'm trying to program it with ESIS. And uh, maybe it's the wrong SZD in it. And also the GWS. But uh, the SZD control the roof function center, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. And the little lights up there on top. But those lights are on. Yeah, so what do you say now? Um, there's a missing link slave here. This one is saying uh, operating facility in the center console, self leveling suspension, missing link slave. Somebody put this car together. They have to now work with this and keep it as it is because if they take stuff from another car and put here, you say no, there's a missing link slave. You know what's that, right? No. It's a small little wireless communication wires. All right, let me run a test plan and show you where, where these wires are. But it's like somebody leave out the connection of the wiring, you know? Mm. Yeah, when they're putting stuff together. So it just... Yeah, see the front passenger seat occupancy detection, US version. All right, it's really a GWS control unit, roof function center need to be encoded. Joe's are, yeah, the, the seat are the program, I initialize them. Mm. And the models are now green for both of them. So GWS, the gear selector switch, wrong, wrong hardware variant. The SZD roof function center module, this one needs to be encoded, but it fails the code with ESIS. Right, the airbag, the seat module, the person the seat module is the one I'm saying. You try to code it, it wouldn't take the code with that. You're saying it's sending the wrong, it's sending the wrong um, information across the line, across the bus. So what is the fix for that? Well, that's the what? main thing is for them to get them airbag like half. 
Well, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. No communication possible with self-leveling suspension button com component. It could be this causing it right here. There's a self-leveling button. What's up? Now it comes down so quick shit. This is self leveling right here. It's not working because this right here is a mission lens slave here from Center Console. Uh Davy, come here. Alright, this um this is the symbol here for the self leveling vehicle self leveling mm. this is right here there's, there's a wiring under there that probably may be disconnected either from this side or where it leads to you know what i mean mm. right here lane bus it's a local interconnector network communication wire right here so this right here self leveling that's not running there's no light in it so therefore that is probably causing this airbag light to be on but not, seven, no, it's self leveling no off at the airbag. They don't, they don't have no off at the airbag. Alright, right, let me show you what will also off at the airbag. Person the wrist in. I know everything will be. Alright. Let me make one more check, man. Person the wrist in. That's, 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 that's the biggest deal ever out of the world. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, recording this shit again. Yeah, there's no symbol except for yeah this one. This I only have one in on the diagram. I show two ones here. One here, like say another thing could be retrofitted here. You know what? This is the only one self-leveling suspension. There's no. This is a company. This is a button company. Say there's a link slave missing from here. So this vehicle they put it together from another vehicle. So that is the reason why they make these mistakes here. And then the airbag light is friggin' on. As a result of that, fuck. This is one technical aspect after. So today, this is the self-leveling suspension wiring diagram here. This is the component right here. S S three twenty one. Click on that. And as you can see in the part, that, 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 that. Are you coming? Are you coming? Are you coming? Are you coming? Number two would be off-road button, and number three would be uh, vehicle ride right ID. All right. So therefore, that is not working. There's a Linbus problem with that, and uh, the wiring diagram is there. Uh, I want to save a copy of this wire diagram. Let's go back and view later. Alright, there's a lean bus here that is disconnected, I don't know, this one has three wires connected to it, a ground and a black wire and uh, a red wire from the power distribution box in what is it? Uh, Z2A uh, there, so uh, whew, that, that shit there needs to be taken off, I don't know, the airbag light is blah 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 I'm looking for a lean bus here, so there's, a, there's no, oh here's a lean, oh this is basically, here's it right here it's a small little wire. It's all black wire disconnected. Hey, Davey! There's the wire. That's what, this is the wire disconnected here. This one, P-Lin. The signal, Lin bus. This is the wire disconnected from pin 3 to pin 16 to the um, center console. Yep. There we go. And this is the connector here. And this really is a three pin connector wire as you can see there one two three wiring goes to the, the, the switch right here that is it right there so um yeah we gotta start that one out all right installation location 
there's it right here s321 boom all right youtubers so we're gonna sign off for this video right now we have found a problem we'll find a problem wiring for the self-leveling suspension we're gonna actually have to pull up that and run a new wiring and so on yeah the reason for the airbag light inside the cluster is that uh the advanced car safety model the airbag model it, re it replaced the seat occupancy detection as a replacement part it's a part that was replaced but when you replace that part we have to encode over by the airbag model and then um, we ensure that there's no person or objects in the front passenger seat and we have to enable seat occupancy detection all right so that is what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna try to uh Oh, let me, sorry, 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 I gotta connect back to the car. Let me go forward. We're gonna try to go into the enable seat occupancy detection. Gotta see, well, the airbag is already coded, so I'm going to try to, so the encoding between the, um, the encoding between ACM and evaluation electronics for, for has been adjusted. Oh, he said the encoding between the advanced cross safety module and the evaluation electronics for front passenger seat occupancy detection has been adjusted okay them adjusted now okay he said an an advanced cross safety module research is performing the next step this generates additional fault memory entries which can be uh ignored all right no problem all right so that should be uh it should be yeah it's been adjusted so hmm i have to program over there advanced cross safety module he said right here the control unit has been reset the following steps must be carried out in sequence end test module delete the front memory manually enable front passenger seat occupancy detection provided it is not enabled yet okay yeah very good all right cool delete fault code and then we are um, uh, we go 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 all right we go back here delete fault code so we have six fault code we're gonna delete fault code now lights off Boom. okay the terminal change fails to, fail to be carried out so i have to turn this shit off myself if we go here where's the button right here it's really located here turn that shit off and uh, i'm gonna click here See it's parking. Change over. Just gonna say that. I gotta turn it back on. I will tap it three times in eight tenths of a second. There it goes. Let us see if the seat but the airbag light is gonna come back on. No, the airbag light is gone. And there's no more check control messages for the airbag over that side of the fence on the CID. So there's no more airbag light there. Boom. Problem solved. And we look like Oh, the airbox still have a fault code in it. All right, maybe the fault memory entry did not delete it so well. No, we still have six fault codes. Where's the Wow, it takes too long. I'll go here. All right, boom. Hey, the airbox let go on. Airbag light gone, so um, let us go back and display fault memory. Let us look at the fault memories, they're the same. All right, right here, we have to go to your service function and we have to go to um, safety function here. All right, go here, seat occupancy front passenger. That's ABL. We're going to run that one right here. And we're going to enable this piece of shit right here. All right, so let's do another little thing there at the bottom. All right, you see it's right here, continue. 
Oh, that is small, yo. Communication problem with the foreign controller. Really? It can't be, man. All right, let me close all this vehicle session. We have to. There's no communication problem with this. Um. We have to delete the file code. Let me delete the file code again. All right, terminal change, automatic terminal change, not, not, not working, so. Should I turn all this? Wood is open, all right, we turned that shit off, so. <laughs> all right, everything afraid to come back, right? But it's an illusion. Pause it for now. Yo, you see that? It shows uh, that there's no fault code now on the advanced receiver module. So, let us run the service function back. For initializing the seat mod occupancy, say body. The safety seat and then um, safety said so right here shoot that we're going to now look on the cluster if all oh, the little airbag lights are still around there too boom so We'll go through these check control messages. Okay. I don't know what's next to do on this piece of crap. Uh. I'm going to run the ABL procedure for that. Control unit model has been identified. Let us see what you say here. Fault data evaluation. All right, they give us a choice. We should run which one? I don't know. We have two numbers here. I don't know which one, but enable. Yes, this one. Enable. Yeah, that one. Choose that one. Enable. So no fault code is stored for the testing function group. Continue test module. Yeah, this one says enable. I said enable the front passenger seat detection. I'm gonna do that. Enable after recording. Release after exchange the seat occupancy detection electronics. Release after exchanging the seat occupancy detection the sensor. I'm gonna try this one. All right, in the following test model, the front passenger seat occupancy detection is enabled. In this process, do not subject the front passenger seat to load by persons or objects. Okay. E. All right, zero balances is required to complete release. For this purpose, the front passenger seat must be occupied and once again re relieved. Oh yeah. Oh fucking shit, I gotta do all of that shit man.
let me go over from the driver's side here I'm gonna press shit down with my hand I'm gonna press press it down with my hand and get off of it don't know if this strategy will work I I don't know if this strategy would work, but uh, hey, yo, tell me, yeah. Hello, how you doing, bro? How are you? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to get the airbag light off. By did you replace the did you replace the seat uh, seat mat? The what? On the passenger side. Of course. Okay, cool. I have a person sit on the front. Can you go sit on the seat for me, please? The passenger. Uh -huh. Yeah, just sit on it. Just open the other side and sit in it for me. Do it quickly. The person sit on the passenger seat in correct seat position and wait. No, just sit in the seat and wait. Just sit inside there. Yeah, let's sit sit inside there. All right, get up out there. They can get up now. Yeah, get up out there now. Yeah. He's taking the sensor. All right, it's done professional. Okay, it's done. Completed. Yeah, it's completed. He said it's done successfully. It enabled successfully. So, are right, we gonna enter this module? So, man, motherfucking things are so sensitive, bro. All right, this is the advanced crash safety module. There is a. So the coding data was able to enter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should, you should, should, you should go away. See them? Oh, still around? Still, sorry, 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 yeah. sorry, 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 sorry. Oh man, this is still around. Still blinking. One, two, three, four. Just going in. No, 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 no. It's not your seat, though. It's gone. Yeah, yeah, it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure it's Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, oh, boom. All right, cool, cool, cool. Sorry, sir. Look, 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 look. All right, so we finished this job, so we're gonna lock out this thing right now. We'll put it back in value, okay? Yeah, you can, you know, oh, yeah, sure, 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 sure. All right, buddy. So we're gonna. All right, YouTubers. So this uh, this job has been completed today. So we're gonna close out this session today. So uh, thank you for viewing my BMW programming and encoding channel on YouTube. Remember to subscribe. I am out.